Hi, and welcome to the channel. So this video is about the Raspberry Pi 02W, it's a tiny $15 computer and we will be using it with a 7-inch touchscreen and a power bank to create a base for a small tablet. Let's start with the Raspberry Pi 02W. At the heart of the Raspberry Pi 02W is the RP3A0, a custom-built system in package design by Raspberry Pi in the UK. With a quad-core 64-bit ARM Cortex-A53 processor clocked at 1 GHz and 512 MB of SD RAM, the Pi 02 is up to 5 times as fast as the original Raspberry Pi 0. Wireless LAN is built into a shielded enclosure with improved RF compliance, giving you more flexibility when designing with the Raspberry Pi 02W. All in the same tiny 65mm x 30mm form factor. The Raspberry Pi 02W is perfect for a range of smart home applications and other IoT projects. From security cameras to Bluetooth speakers, the Pi 02W has the tiny form factor and impressive power that make it an ideal computer for your projects. This is a 5000 mAh power bank from Vidarit. The maximum output is 2 amp 5 volt. It has one USB C port and two USB A ports. Like the original Raspberry Pi Zero, Raspberry Pi Zero 2W features a mini HDMI port, a micro USB port, and a micro USB power port. This is a 7-inch IPS screen with a hardware resolution of 1024 by 605 points capacitive touch control. I have used this screen before and it's great. It has one HDMI port and two micro USB ports and as far as I can tell it will do touch and power over both ports. This is the official Raspberry Pi HDMI mail to mini HDMI mail cable designed for use with the Raspberry Pi Zero and Raspberry Pi Zero 2W. Here are the specifications. A 1 GHz quad-core 64-bit ARM Cortex-A53 CPU. 512 MB of SD RAM. 2.4 GHz 802.11 BGN wireless LAN. Bluetooth 4.2. Bluetooth Low Energy BLE. A onboard antenna. A mini HDMI port and a micro USB on the GOOC port. A micro SD card slot. A CSI2 camera connector. A HAT compatible 40 pin header footprint. It's unpopulated on the standard model. H264, MPEG 4 decode and H264 encode at 1080p. OpenGL ES 1.1. Graphics. A micro USB port for power. Composite video and reset pins via solder test points on the PCB. I have done a video like this before with a Raspberry Pi 0W. The main difference is the super thin power bank and the more powerful quad core Raspberry Pi 02, of course. The idea is to first connect all the parts and check if everything works as expected and maybe get an idea of the performance. All of the cables are too long to use in a small enclosure so that's something I need to figure out. You will see me use small USB-A to micro USB adapters, I have these adapters specifically for the Pi Zero and this type of touch over USB screens. You need one of the small USB-A to micro USB adapters, two USB-A to micro USB cables and a HDMI mail to mini HDMI mail cable. Now we power the whole thing with the power bank. The power bank has a LED indicator for how much power there is left. The first boot will take a while so let's skip that. So this is Raspberry Pi OS. It comes with some standard software installed. One of the USB-A to micro USB cables powers the Pi Zero 2 and the other USB-A to micro USB cables goes from the Pi Zero 2 to the 7 inch touch screen. The 128GB micro SD card had Raspberry Pi OS on it already. It's a fresh install and will automatically recognize the touch screen and use the best resolution for the screen. Works great out of the box. I installed a on-screen keyboard to make Raspberry Pi OS a more tablet-friendly OS. Now when you open an application that wants text input it will pop up the on-screen keyboard and this makes things a lot easier to use. The on-screen keyboard looks and feels like the on-screen keyboard in Android and Windows. Once you close the window that was using the on-screen keyboard it disappears. 
I really like for the Raspberry Pi Foundation to add this feature to Raspberry Pi OS. Demodeling and came up with a simple tablet design. Because the screen is large compared to the power bank and the Pi Zero 2 this will fit easily in the screen enclosure. But I am still way of the first model I could actually print and test fit. Cable management will be an issue and I would like to have the GPIO accessible. Audio is also an issue I need to address. In many many comments I got the question to please narrate my videos, so here it is the first full video narrated. Please let me know if videos like this one are the way to go forward or if you rather have some music in the background and leave it at that. So thanks for watching. If you dislike this video you can hit that button but if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed and maybe consider checking out one of our other videos. Links are in the video description down below.